What's going on guys? Your boy Fluff here. Today, talking about some big PTR changes coming for Barb. Uh, I've had a lot of people in stream asking, oh, what's up? Like, uh, this this whole PTR thing is a little weird to read. You know, how does it affect me? How does it affect Barb? I got you covered. Your boy Fluff's got you covered. So let's get right into it. Um, IK, the change in IK, uh, they're bumping up to 400% damage. 400% increased damage from 250. Uh, I don't know if you guys played the last PTR, but I think that's the number where we were at. Um, it's a really good number. Uh, it kind of brings Hoda back. Um, maybe even maybe even Seismic Slam IK6. Uh, although I think the Might of Earth would probably be a better choice for Seismic Slam. But again, this is good for Hoda. This is good for Furious Charge. Furious Charge is going to be even more powerful, which is nuts. Uh, what else we got here? Might of Earth. A little power creep on Might of Earth. We're going from 800 to 1200 uh, percent. Hopefully, this will bring us in line. Um, right off the top of my head, I'm pushing 82, uh, 83. Uh, I know, yeah, an EU hit 83. Um, this might take us up to 87. 87. That's just a rough number off the top of my head. Maybe 87. The toughness is there for us, um, but damage is a little lacking. So I think that this will kind of bring that up. Um, also, the, the four piece, there's a change up from double the duration. Um, you know, double duration, more time. I guess this is for builds that you're not casting leap that often. Like maybe you're not resetting the cooldown very well. Not a big change uh, if you're playing the, the really good Leap Quake build. Um, the big change here, this is one I'm looking forward to, guys. This is big, okay? Every use, this is six piece Raycor. Every use of Fury's Charge increases the damage of your next Fury spending attack by 750% up from 300. So, they don't go on to say anything else about the six piece. I'm guessing it works just the same. So, you get the, you get stacks up to five times. Uh, so before, obviously, 300% times 5 is 1,500. This time, 750% times 5 is 3,750, guys. So um, if you guys have seen my Raycor Smash build, uh, check it out on YouTube. Come in the stream, exclamation point, Smash. We'll get you the guide. Um, but that, that build is going to be sick with this change. It's tanky, way more tanky than Furious Charge. Um, your boulder toss is gonna hit like a freaking truck, guys. It was 3750? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so that's those are the big set changes coming for Barb, okay? Um, we got a passive change, tough as nails. Uh, thorns is going up from 50% to 100%. This will be good for that lawn frenzy build that people are playing. Um, you can find that on you know Diablo fans, Reddit, I think on the forums too. Um, Hammer of the Ancients, critical hits heal you for 3% of your life instead of dropping the health globes. Um, I'm good with this change. I don't like the group aspect. I don't like the you know energy twister group play. Um, I'm not a big fan of the support bar. But uh, this will be good for solo. I mean, you could probably work out some kind of build with the, you know, the Istvan blades or whatever with the little rogue and the slanderer um, to make this you know, go off the chain with healing, right? That on top of life you've already spent, maybe pretty nuts. Ignore pain, they're nerfing it um, for group play, 25% damage, but they did say um, to make up for this change that they're nerfing damage that the mobs do in greater rifts across the board. So again, that leads me to think that Leap Quake, you know, it's going to be, we're going to be in 88, maybe 89 range, um, maybe 87. Just somewhere in there because a mobs are doing less damage and we're tanky as it is and we're going to be doing more damage. So I mean I'm I'm talking about Leap Quake just because it's what I pushed with this season, but these changes are also in effect for Furious Charge. Furious Charge is going to be beast, um, and Raycor Smash I think is going to be nutso. Just nutso. All right. Uh, the other big changes I saw. Obviously they're changing Tyguk. Okay, this guy. Tyguk. It's no longer anytime you spend a resource you get a damage buff and that damage buff stacks to whatever your Tyguk level is. That's that's gone. That's gone guys. Um, what we have now is it only works for channeling skills and that means just whirlwind for us barbs. 
Um, and it only lasts for one. I mean, it doesn't last. So it lasts as long as you're channeling, but it goes away after 1.5 seconds. So pretty much every time you zone, you're gonna lose this. But it stacks up a lot faster. It only stacks to 10, um, and that damage per stack goes up with every level. So 10 stacks, the damage amount you get per level is dependent upon your Tiguk level. Uh, how do I feel about this change? It's whatever. I was kind of a fan of Tiguk. I liked micromanaging, you know my buffs and keeping Tyguk up. Um, I'm not a big fan of Whirlwind, which reminds me guys, oh my god, I didn't even talk about it. Okay, so they're changing Whirlwind too. My bad. My bad, guys. Uh, where are we at? Where are we at? Might of Earth. Thorns, blah, blah, blah. Waste. Here we go. Four piece waste. During Whirlwind you gain 50% damage reduction and applied Rens deal triple damage. Again, you know, I'm not crazy about this because, you know, in every single Whirlwind spec that you play, the damage doesn't come from Whirlwind. And I don't, I mean, I don't like that. I mean, the damage should come from Whirlwind, right? But, you know, you play Whirlwind set, the damage comes from Tornadoes. Uh, you play that new uh, build that I made, Volcano Barb, um, damage comes from your Volcanoes. Whirlwind's just kind of there to, you know, use with Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac. And same thing with... Way six. It's just um, that's fine, you know. Or one that looks like it might be kind of viable again. I'm not sure how much damage this is going to bring to the table. It's going to need a significant amount, right? Because I mean, waste right now, the damage isn't there. The toughness is fine, but the damage isn't there to do. I don't even know what people are pushing. Maybe 70s, somewhere in the 70s. I haven't even looked at waste. I'm not a fan of wastes, but big changes coming for it. Um, what else? What else we have here? Um, they're changing Gaguk. Um, I'm not sure if they're taking away the cooldown. I don't think so. I think that's just a secondary effect. But they're adding dodge. So you get attack speed and dodge now. It's really... I think it's more for monks than it is for us. Um, but, you know, I think... I mean, we use it in waste, right? We use it in waste sometimes. Um, ba -ba -ba. What else we got? What else we got? Um, off, off, off record here. This guy, Dashing Strike reduces the damage taken by six, blah, blah, for six seconds. So monks are getting like our Band of Might. I think this is a really big change for monks. That's just off, off the side here. Looks like they're also changing the gloves. Um, maybe they're giving Mage Fist more damage, which would make me emo because my Mage Fist is nutso. Uh, they're also changing Frostburn, maybe. I think that's what that means. And the last big change that affects I think it affects everyone, okay? It affects every class. Gain percent increased damage versus elites and take blank reduced damage from elites. That's that could be huge. So the one of the problems that Charge Barb struggles with is, you know, the Rift Guardian. The Rift Guardian is the Charge Barb's bane of their existence, right? So if this is anywhere from like a twenty five to thirty percent range, that could be a lot. I mean, this could be a huge thing. I'm hoping this isn't like a new Bane of the Powerful rework or something. That would kind of suck. Um, but if it's like a 25-30%, it's a brand new gem, this could be huge. That could be huge. And that's all I can think of to talk to you guys about um, is pertaining to Barb in particular. But again, a lot of new changes. It looks like they're kind of power creeping everything to maybe, hopefully be like on the same level. Maybe everyone's going to be in that 89 range, hopefully. I mean, I know Fury's Charge is already there, so if you give them 150% more damage, they're probably going to go further. So it looks like Charge Barb will still be on top, um, but we'll see. We'll see. You know, I'll always push Leap Quake to the max. I'll try to push the other builds to the max, see what they can do. Um, but that's it for you guys, for me, PTR patch notes. Just so you guys don't have to scramble through this mess and people ask me a bunch of questions. It's all right here, boys. All right? Peace out.